Hello, welcome to the uh, Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Tuesday, December 8th. It's the second week of Advent, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 39, and Amos 7, verses 10 to 17. Please join me in singing the second verse of Once He Came in Blessing. Still he comes within us, still his voice would win us from the sins that hurt us, would to truth convert us. Not in torment hold us, but in love in O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I said, I will heed my ways, lest I sin with my tongue. Psalm 39, and please recite it with me. I said, I will heed my ways lest I sin with my tongue. I will keep my mouth muzzled while the wicked are before me. I was silent and I held my peace, and my sorrow was stirred. My heart was hot within me. While I was musing, the fire burned, and then I spoke with my tongue. O oh God, let me know my end and the measure of my days, that I may know how frail I am. Behold, you have given me only a handful of days, and my lifetime is nothing before you. Truly, everyone, even at their best, are merely vanity. Surely everyone walks in a shadow, and in vain we are upset. We heap up riches, and do not know who will gather them. And now what do I wait for? My hope is in you, my God. Deliver me from all my transgressions, and make me not the taunt of the fool. I was silent, and I did not open my mouth, because you did it. Remove your afflictions from me. I am consumed by the blows of your hand. When you correct us for our sins, like a moth, you consume everything dear to us. Surely everyone is vanity. Hear my prayer, O God, and bend your ear to my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears, for I am but a stranger before you a sojourner as were my ancestors. Spare me that I may recover my strength before I go my way and be no more. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I said, I will heed my ways, lest I sin with my tongue. A reading from the prophet Amos, chapter 7, beginning at verse 10. Then Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent to King Jeroboam of Israel, saying, Amos has conspired against you in the very center of the house of Israel. The land is not able to bear all his words. For thus Amos has said, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel must go into exile away from his land. And Amaziah said to Amos, O seer, go, flee away to the land of Judah, and earn your bread there, and prophesy there, but never again prophesy at Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary, and it is a temple of the kingdom. And then Amos answered Amaziah, I am no prophet, nor a prophet's son, but I am a herdsman and a dresser of sycamore trees. And the Most High took me from following the flock. And the Most High said to me, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. Now therefore hear the words of the Most High. You say, Do not prophesy against Israel, and do not preach against the house of Isaac. Therefore thus says the Most High, Your wife shall become a prostitute in the city, and your sons and daughters shall fall by the sword. 
and your land shall be parceled out by line. You yourself shall die in an unclean land, and Israel shall surely go into exile away from its land. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We trust in your mercy, O God. Deliver us from our sins, and do not let us become like the fool. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.